Well, the war between Israel and Hamas, a major talking point at last night's third Republican primary debate. That's right. And five of the top GOP presidential candidates going head to head in Miami. It was a face off that was heavy on both policy and personal attacks. NBC's Tom Yamas has the highlights. In Miami, five Republican presidential candidates facing off in a contentious and sometimes personal political debate. She doesn't answer so this the question. Is what I will tell you. Battling for attention in the Republican Party with former President Donald Trump, the clear frontrunner who was holding a rally in the same county. He owes it to you to be on this stage. The candidates were pressed on foreign policy and how they would address the Israel-Hamas war with Israel's prime minister. I would be telling Bibi, finish the job once and for all with these butchers, Hamas. The first thing I said to him when it happened was I said, finish them, finish them. But personal clashes took center stage, particularly between Vivek Ramaswamy and Nikki Haley, including a debate over TikTok. In the last debate, she made fun of me for actually joining TikTok while her own daughter was actually using the app for a long time. So you might want to take care of your family first. Leave my daughter out of your voice. Your adult daughter. You have her supporters crapping her up. That's fine. Here's the truth. You're just the easy scum. answer. Ramaswamy also accusing Haley of profiting off her old job as UN ambassador. Do you want a leader from a different generation who's going to put this country first? Or do you want Dick Cheney in three inch heels? They're five inch heels, and I don't wear them unless you can run in them. Is I wear heels, they're not for a fashion statement, they're for ammunition. He called you Dick Cheney in three inch heels. Do you think that was sexist? I don't even give him the time of day. He has proven that he is just not worthy of being president of the United States. Haley has been rising in the polls, but former Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is also hoping for a boost, though he trails the former president significantly. DeSantis blaming Trump for the GOP's poor performance in state elections on Tuesday. He said Republicans were going to get tired of winning. Well, we saw last night, I'm sick of Republicans losing. The candidates also sparring over a coherent message on the abortion issue that helped power Democrats to victories in the midterms and this week. I would certainly, as President of the United States, have a 15-week national limit. No Republican president can ban abortions any more than a Democrat president can ban these state laws. So let's find consensus. This is an issue that should be decided in each state. And right now, according to 538, a website that aggregates a series of political polls and averages them out, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis leads by an average of about six points over Nikki Haley, but trails former President Donald Trump by about 42 percentage points.